five years experience of raising brawler chickens for meat you know about five years ago when we moved uh, to another state we decided that we want to be raising our home brawler meat and that five years I have learned a lot of lessons you know over the past five years of raising uh, brawler chickens you know it started with building my own cage I started building my own cage you know raising my own uh, brother chicken for meat and I just want to share some things with you that I have learned over the past uh, five years of raising this meat bird so brother chicken is you know very good uh, chicken breed for you to be able to raise uh, for meat they are good because you will get huge weight but there are so many things that you need to know about these animals so the first thing you need to know about brother chicken is brother chicken they need a uh, close supervision they are not as strong as noila chickens that is why you need to supervise them very uh, closely and in your supervision you need to make sure that you watch their poops because if you want to know if your bird or any animal is sick even including humans you will notice from their excrete so you have to make sure you monitor their excrete well and through their excrete you'll be able to uh, dictate the symptom or of sickness in them so brother chicken they need close supervision and that is why if you are going into brother chicken you need to make sure that you watch them very closely another thing i want to share with you from my experience is the more you feed them the bigger result that you, you will see now the food that they eat is so important that is why when you are raising your brother chicken you need to try as much as possible to give them you know feed that are quality and feed that are good and once you start using one feed for them make sure you start using that feed till you slaughter them because if you change the feed it will tell in their body you will notice from their excrete when the food is changed sometimes it could affect them and they might die so that is another thing that i want to share with you based on my experience raising one day we came back from church and then I went to check chicken lo and behold about three of them died two are about to die why that leads me to the next point they are not eat friendly they are not eat friendly like they hate it so if you are raising brother chicken make sure that you have a good ventilation and I would advise you don't use zinc instead use a wood to construct their cage i mean me i made a mistake because i use zinc all around i use zinc around the cage and i use it on top of the cage so they only have like a little space in front of them for the air to pass in and under so they are not eat friendly at all they are not so if you are raising them make sure that they have enough ventilation at least enough ventilation another thing when it comes to noila i mean my brother chicken is clean water they need clean water each day and that is one thing that will really help you okay just like humans too you need clean water to be able to survive the animals that you are raising they need clean water so based on my experience make sure you change their water and also they need constant water if they do not get water listen they can get it stroke make sure that you give them water when they eat they drink when they eat they drink when they eat they drink that is how they eat okay so make sure that there is water enough for them every day check them that is why in the first point i say close supervision make sure that their poops i mean solid and also that they there is enough water for them and that leads me to the net I mean, the last one okay try as much as possible to deworm them okay maybe once 
every two weeks. Now, how do you deworm? All right, you can use you can use octodus medicine, which I don't recommend, but you can actually use herbs like leaves. I use purple. I use moringa. I use aloe vera, and also I use scent leaf for them. So this will really help you. So for the past five years that we have been raising broiler chicken, listen, we have uh, slaughtered many of them, we have harvested many of them, they have served as meat for them, we took care of them, we fed them well. They had a lot of food. So it is very important. And one of the secrets, when it comes to raising any kind of animal, make sure that you have feed in the house because feed is important. If you want to raise any bear, make sure you have feed because if you don't feed them, they will not grow. Unlike the Noyla chicken, that you can always see them around, roaming around, but these animals, they need to be fed. Those are the five years of experience. Now, we've, I mean, we've recorded many animals lost. Many of our brawlers died, all right, due to one reason or the other. Either eat stroke, whether they are sick, but we lost most of them to eat stroke. I mean, like one time we came back from church. I think I've said that. We came back from church. Some of our big birds, broiler chickens, two have died. I mean, three have died. And then two are about to die. And we had to kill five that day. Thank God that, I mean, like the, the three that died, they, I mean, like, you know, they, they were just, they, 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 they were still breathing, but they were lifeless. That was, we killed them, we slaughtered them, the blood still gush out. That was it. We were able to kill about five chickens that we never planned for. Because we fed them, they are grown up, they are big, they are about three months. So we can't throw that away. So raising broiler chicken is wonderful. It has helped our family to save money, you know. Usually, the tradition is we eat, we eat chicken every December. But now, when you come to our house, you can eat chicken anytime. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video has been helpful, like, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. God bless you.